And welcome back. It is Severe Weather Week here on Eyewitness News, where we help you get storm ready all week long. When storms like Irene and Sandy hit southern New England, you have to be prepared for the possibility of losing power for days at a time. If it happens, mobile devices like your cell phone and a tablet can be an important lifeline to help you get the information you need. Problem solver Susan Hogan is here with some ways to make sure you're not left in the dark. When severe weather hits, wireless devices like your smartphone or tablet are vital just in case you need to get to that important information or to contact your loved ones. But if the power goes out, you need to have a power plan just in case. We've seen several times in the past few years severe weather taking down utility poles and wires, leaving local families without power or phone service for days at a time. But with a few simple steps, you can keep your family prepared and protected. First, make sure to fully charge all of your devices before a storm hits. That includes cell phones, laptops, tablets, anything that runs on battery power. Make sure to program emergency contacts ahead of time so you can get in touch with police and fire departments, neighbors or family when you need to. If you do lose power, use your devices sparingly. You don't want to drain the battery by playing games or using apps that aren't necessary. That way, you're more than likely to have power if you need to make an emergency call or get important weather updates. If power goes out for several days, you can also use car adapters to keep your devices charged. Just make sure it's safe to get to and from your car and be careful of exhaust fumes. Safety experts say plan to have no power for at least three to five days and make sure you have a backup power supply for all of your wireless devices. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.